Welcome to another video on Film Six. Right, this one is a, like a special project that I've been meaning to do for really a while now, like ages. I don't know, before Christmas. Previously, I've compiled fifty-one. Uh, anticipated uh, attractions that I would personally love to experience at some point uh, yeah but it's just having the footage having the time really to obviously get it now I also would also like to thank and give a big shout out to Extreme Coasters Network for graciously allowing me permission to use some unmoid footage videos of their channel it's well I probably wouldn't have been able to make this video if not for them so yeah this is like uh, it's not all 51 attractions it's only about six or seven mind these attractions are all abroad in different theme or amusement parks around the world and the first one I'll be sort of mentioning is Star Wars Rise of the Resistance it's motion simulator and truckless dark ride it was designed by Walt Disney Imagineering and obviously the theming is due to Star Wars especially the latter films like uh, 7, 8 or 9 with uh, uh, Kylo Ren as the bad guy so anyway, yeah, I've I've watched POV of this simulated dark ride, which you know is quite good. I mean, it looks fantastic. I mean, I would love to try it. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So the ride duration is 18 minutes long which you know quite lengthy it's at two of the Disney parks in America first one being uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios came out in the uh, 5th of December 2019 so yeah and obviously it's in Orlando Florida the next park, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, is also at Disneyland Anaheim in California. And this came out on the 17th of January 2020, last year. Of course, at some point we hope to be able to go over there at some point. So, anyway, here comes the unmoid footage courtesy of Airtime, sorry, not Airtime Films, Extreme Coasters Network. Hope you enjoy it. Hey. down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Beck will guide you. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Good, now get to move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. Pro droid, you're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Detection 
I got all my information from the roller coaster database. It's well, it's extremely helpful. Like I said before, I've got an unmoored POV. It's roughly about one minute's worth, but you can see what's like. I mean, I don't want to, you know, give anything much away because at the end of the day. Extreme Coasters Network You give me permission so And yeah, I mean they've got their own channel Their own business to, you know, sort out So Anyway, this next roller coaster It's one of their earliest uh, Coaster videos And that's a Fury 325 It's a steel hybrid coaster Manufactured by BNM. I'll give I'll say the statistics as well. It's got a track length of six thousand six hundred and two feet. The height is three hundred and twenty five feet. Drop is a three hundred and twenty feet. The actual speed of Fury three two five is ninety five miles per hour. It's got a vertical angle of 81 degrees. It did open up on the 28th of March 2015. And like I said, no, I don't think I did mention Fury 325 is at Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina. Here comes the footage. Also from RCDB, Roller Coaster Database, we have got Lightning Rod. It's when I checked it on the Roller Coaster Database, it did say wooden launch coaster. I think, well, it is a hybrid, wooden hybrid coaster. I've been told, or well, I've looked, well, I've looked up, I should say. Uh, Lightning Mud, it's manufactured, probably any enthusiast will guess, Rocky Mountain Construction or RMC. It's got a track length of 3,800 feet. The actual drop is 165 feet. 
speed is 73 miles per hour it's got a vertical angle of 73 degrees the g-force of lightning rod is 3.5 g's and lightning rod opened up I believe 13th of June 2016 it's located in Dollywood Pigeon Ford in Tennessee here comes the unmade footage courtesy of Extreme Coasters Network <laughs> Six more roller coasters to also check out on this video. Next one being Blue Fire Mega Coaster. It's a steel launch coaster manufactured by Mac Rides. Right, the actual length of Blue Fire Mega Coaster is uh, three thousand. 464.5 feet uh, the height is 124.7 feet the actual speed of blue fire mega coaster is 62.1 miles per hour it's got four inversions First one being a hundred and five foot tall loop, a twisted horseshoe roll, and inline a twist. Well, according to Roller Coaster Database, so yeah, it opened up on the fourth of April two thousand and nine. Europa Park which is in Rust in you know what I can't even pronounce that but I will obviously put a note on the on this video about Europa Park being in Rust in Germany here comes the footage The next two roller coasters, courtesy of RCDB, are also from Europa Park, like Blue Fire Mega Coaster. Next one being Silver Star, it's a steel hyper coaster, manufactured by BNM, by the Jan and Mabillard. The actual length of a Silver Star is. 5,315 feet the actual height is 239.5 feet the actual drop is 219.8 feet 
the actual speed is 78.9 miles per hour it's got a vertical angle of 68.5 degrees g-force is 4.0 g's and silver star opened up on the 23rd of March 2002 here comes more of fight footage roller coaster also from Europa Park is a Rodan Timber Coaster it's a wooden coaster excuse me manufactured by Great Coasters International it's got a track length of 3444.9 feet the actual height is 131.2 feet. The actual speed of Rodan is 62.1 miles per hour. It's got a G force of 3.5 and ride duration is 3 minutes and 25 seconds. Rodan Timber Coaster first opened up on the 31st of March 2012. Again, here comes more on my footage. This next roller coaster is fairly new and yes I'm talking about Fly which is a steel flying coaster manufactured by Vekoma. Right Fly, the track length is 4055.1 feet the actual speed of flight is 48.5 miles per hour with two inversions being two corkscrews uh, well according to roller coaster database well yeah I've seen off-road footage 
I still haven't, you know, been to Fantasyland, where Flight is. Uh, yeah, Flight opened up on the 17th of September last year, 2020. Like I said, uh, flies in the theme park Fantasyland. Again, I'm not going to pronounce the location of Fantasyland. I know it's in Germany, but that's about it. Here's uh, off-road footage, courtesy again from Extreme Coasters Network. Enjoy. Last two roller coasters, according to Roller Coaster Database, and again, my hopefully get to do some point in the future. Next one being Lek Lek Coaster. It's a steel Bermuda Blitz coaster, manufactured by Vacoma. Lek Coaster. It's got a track length of 2,979 feet. The actual height is 131.3 feet. Speed is 59 miles per hour with three inversions being a reverse side, yeah, sorry, reverse side winder and two corkscrews. Right, Lek Coaster first opened up on the 1st of July 2017 and it's in the theme park or amusement park Legendia. I can't say the full name of the theme amusement park and the actual location. It is in Poland but that's about it. So here comes the footage, hope you like it. Very last most anticipated attraction I want to experience is uh, Hyperion. 
it's a yeah it's a steel coaster manufactured by Intamin it's got a track length of 4757.2 feet the actual height is 252.6 feet the actual drop is wow 200 269 feet with a speed of 88.2 miles per hour it's got a vertical angle of 85 degrees the actual g-force of Hyperion is 4.8 g's with one inversion being a dive drop uh, Hyperion the steel coaster is in the park Energylandia in Zaytor, Poland again here comes some unmade footage <laughs> enjoyed this latest video of anticipated attractions I would appreciate if you do hit the thumbs up button it does help obviously with my channel to grow and hopefully it's something different that you may enjoy thinking wow uh, as well as please do leave a comment down below in the comment section I, I obviously yeah go through every single one of my comments and check them out uh, I would also appreciate if you can to share this video out I could I could said does help and lastly if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm David, the owner and founder of Thrill Seeks. That's my, obviously my channel's name, and uh, hope you enjoy more content from me. So, until the next video, to the loop. <laughs>